everyone in this, this video I'll be talking about the chemo prophylaxis of malaria and there are two types of chemo prophylaxis of malaria there is the casual uh, prophylaxis and then there is the suppressive prophylaxis in casual prophylaxis you target the pre erythrocytic phase of the malarial parasite and the drugs used for casual prophylaxis are proguanil 200 milligrams daily and it's not usually used that often because you have to administer proguanil daily and plus it's not that effective against virax malaria and the second drug is primaguin but it's not used in mass prophylaxis because of all the toxicities of primaguin it's given i think uh, 1.5 mg per kg and then um well yeah it's the mnemonic pro phalaxis pro guanal prime queen pre erythrocytes so you see how the pr kind of repeats in the mnemonic um suppressive we have two queens in suppressive one is chloroquine and it is given 300 mg every week and there is mefloquine it is given 250 mg every week then you have um doxycycline it is given 100 mg daily doxy has an x prophylaxis has an x there are other two regimens as well there is pd for pyrimethamine and dapsone pyrimethamine is given 12.5 mg and dapsone is given 100 mg and there is ps for pyrimethamine which is given um 25 mg and uh sulfadoxine sulfadoxine has an x prophylaxis has an x sulfadoxine has an s prophylaxis has an s p s pyrimethamine okay uh sulfadoxine is given 500 mg so um that is all just a quick review casual prophylaxis has pre erythrocytic um targets on the pre erythrocytic phase and the suppressive targets on the erythrocytic phase of the malaria parasite um casual prophylaxis as pre erythrocytic pro pro proguanal primaquine and prophylaxis so there's a lot of p's and in suppressive you have two q's for chloroquine and mefloquine given weekly um mefloquine is given in chloroquine resistant areas and in moderately resistant areas you can also give chloroquine plus proguanal um then you have doxycycline because prophylaxis is an x and because prophylaxis has an x you have the sulfadoxine pyrimethamine regimen and the pyrimethamine dapsone regimen so that is all um the thing you should remember is that you start the chemo prophylaxis one week before entering the area the endemic area and you continue it for four weeks that's all i hope that helped and i hope you had fun learning with me stay awesome hi everyone in this video i'm going to be talking about the treatment of malaria and certain mnemonics that i have which are used in the treatment of malaria and we're going to start with chloroquine and chloroquine is administered 600 mg stat and after 6 hours you give 300 mg base and then you give 150 mg for 3 days so you see how the dose became half and then 600 mg after 6 hours you give 300 mg and the 3 is carried over for 3 days all right um then you have the combination therapies um they are usually used in chloroquine resistant malaria and the most um common combination therapy is the artemisinin combination therapies and i have a mnemonic for that um i kind of think of 
E alas M. So EA stands for Artemito and I'm your dark queen. Both have an M, so they kind of fit in with each other. Then you have Artisanite with Lumi Fantrin. And you have Artisanate with Sulfadoxine and Pyrimethamine, obviously. They always go together. And you have Artisanate with Mephloguin. I spoke about those in the prophylaxis of malaria video. And you kind of see how there is an F in all of these three drugs so I don't know how it helps but you have to remember these um, you can also give quinine and if the patient cannot tolerate quinine you can give quinidine or amiodequine and there are a lot of other drugs as well um, you can give lumifandrine you can give halofandrine you can give mefloquine um, and if the patient not tolerating sulfatoxine, you can also give uh, tetracycline. So that's what you're supposed to remember over on uncomplicated pneumonia. Now, if the patient has a complicated pneumonia or a cerebral pneumonia, you're going to monitor your airway, breathing and circulation, which is the ABC. And I also remember ASH for pneumonias because you have to think of anemias you have to control the seizures and you have to look out for hypoglycemia and hypoglycemia is um, especially precipitated by drugs which you give for the treatment of malaria now in complicated malarias you are not going to opt for chloroquine because chloroquine um, resistance is the reason um, most malarias get complicated so um, for chloroquine resistant malarias you can give quinine and quinine is given 25 20 milligrams per kg in four hours and then you follow it by 10 milligrams per kg in four hours and then you continue 10 milligrams per kg every eight hours uh, you want to give five percent dextrose to prevent hypoglycemia with quinine um, the other um, drugs you use are the RT mesnin derivatives and I have a mnemonic for rem remembering the dose of RT mesnin deriv derivatives. Um, you can give RT meter and um, RT meter kind of ends in THER which reminds me of 3 so I remember 3.2 milligrams on the first day and then you continue half the dose that is 1.6 milligrams for six days so the regimen is for seven days and there is artisanate and uh, the mnemonic is actually her Hindi mnemonic um, sonate has a T so I kind of remember sun to ache because there's a T and an E and 2 is 2 milligrams per kg on the first day and um, then 8 stands for 1 in Hindi or you can just remember the half of 2 is 1 milligram per kg and this is considered for 6 days and the regimen again is of 7 days um, then you can if you have a Vivax malaria, you give Primaquine for 14 days and you give it 15 milligrams. And if you have chloroquine malarias, um, I mean, if you have falciparum malarias, you give 45 milligrams one dose of Primaquine. And this is basically given because Primaquine is a gametocidal drug. And this is very important to remember because um, examiners love to ask why would you give primaquine in a falciparum malaria because they don't have a liver stage, right? Um, I think that is all. I hope you had fun learning with me and stay awesome.